Over the weekend, the Strawberry Jam Fest Indie Film Festival graced Hammond. Ramen reporter J.C. Toll shows us how enthusiastic the crowd there was. For Tiger TV's The Ramen, the suit for college kids, this is J.C. Toll at the Hammond Indie Film Festival. Organizers Alan Marsh and Marty Fellum have joined forces to create this year's Strawberry Jam Fest Indie Festival. My name is Mark Poisella. I'm the director of Dynamite Swine, and we were uh, honored to show at the Jam Fest 2010. We've just started going on the film festival circuit. This is like our third festival, and uh, extremely enthusiastic crowds here. We were looking for an alternative to football, so we read about it in Country Roads. Wow, that crowd sure did seem excited about the film festival. Speaking of films, which are, of course, basically movies... Let's kick it over to our movie mogul, Sydney Armstrong, to find out which movies are coming to a theater near you this weekend. Thanks, guys. Well, if you're into horror and Facebook, then this weekend is perfect for you. But first, let's check out the latest box office hits. Wall Street Money Never Sleeps, Legends of the Guardians, and The Town are just a few that made their way onto the top of the charts. Wall Street Money Never Sleeps comes in at number one, earning $19 million in its first weekend. Michael Douglas and Shia LaBeouf put on a great performance, so if you haven't checked it out yet, go see it. Legends of the Guardian flies into its way into number two, making $16 million, reglutting the town to number three. I'm a little shocked that an animated owl film outgrows the town because I'm telling you, go see the town right now. It's an awesome movie that you don't want to miss. Easy A falls to number four, only making $10 million in its second weekend. And moviegoers must not be into the newest release, You Again, starring Kristen Bell, Jamie Lee Curtis, and Betty White. You Again landed in at number five, only making $8.5 million in its first weekend at the theaters. That's not too good. And now, Romaner, some exciting movies are coming your way this Friday. Check out Horror Movies Case 39 and Let Me In. Not to mention the most anticipated Facebook movie ever released. Well, the only one ever released about Facebook, The Social Network. Renee Zellweger and Bradley Cooper fans, be sure to check out Case 39. Case 39 stars Renee Zellweger as a social worker who meets a young girl with cruel parents. Zellweger's character decides to assume custody of the young girl while she looks for a foster family. But she doesn't realize that the dark forces are surrounding her, this innocent girl. Or is she really innocent? Case 39 might be just another horror paranormal activity type movie, but see for yourself this Friday. The newest horror film, Let Me In, just looks like it's going to be plain creepy. Sign Chloe Moritz, the hit girl from the movie Kick-Ass, who plays Abby, a young girl who becomes friends with her new neighbor, Owen. Owen can't seem to explain what is so special about Abby until a lot of gruesome murders happen around their town. Owen realizes Abby might be a vampire. I know, another vampire movie, but check out Let Me In as the newest vampire movie about a lot more creepy and more gruesome than everyone's favorite Twilight. And now the newest release that isn't a horror film, but none other than about Facebook. And if you haven't already liked the newest release, The Social Network on Facebook, then you're missing out. The Social Network is being claimed as one of the best movies of the year. Starring Jesse Eisenberg, Justin Timberlake, Andrew Garfield, and Rashida Jones, The Social Network is about Harvard genius Mark Zuckerberg, who creates the now world-renowned website Facebook. But with success comes drama, and audiences can be sure to witness that in The Social Network. And just as the movie claims, you don't get to 500 million friends without making a few enemies. Mark Zuckerberg is the youngest billionaire in history. Don't you wish you had created Facebook? I know, we all do. But if you want to add it to his billionaire bank account, be sure to accept, deny, and like your way to the social network on Friday. Well, that's it for the movies. Stay tuned for next week and watch these commercials.